already, already, already. And get this going. And get this going. And get this going. Hi. Ah. Perfect. Everything should be good to go now. Close Discord. Because I don't need to open for this. Make OBS be minimized. Perfect. Uh, and then do this. We'll start in two hours precisely. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I tried to ask discussions if I could have a streamer chat or a stream chat in undercards, but uh, they said no. They said use Discord. I'm like, Discord doesn't work because not everyone can use Discord. The whole gimmick was to have it on the same website. Because if it's on the same website, then we can actually see it. You can actually be seen right here and not have any issues with, for example, if you're doing a YouTube stream or if you're doing some other stream not on Twitch or YouTube on some other platform, maybe even a Discord stream, but you can't look at Discord because you're playing on undercuts. That was one of the problems. Hello, someone. How's it going? Uh, no, you seem to be first right now, by the looks of it. Sorry, I'm just talking about something that uh, I mentioned. I'll, I'll talk about that again. Oh, that's fair. Uh, but technically, I'm not watching my own stream. I'm presenting it, but I'm not technically watching it. Then pay the Temi Flakes. 10 to 1 now. I have a Temi Flake charge for that. If you want to face me on stream, I can face you off stream for free, but if you want to face me on stream, there is an option that costs, I believe it's 400 Temi Flakes, which you should get in about 40 minutes, is usually how much it takes for people. Jeez, let's just spam. Is today a legend spell? I was not aware of that. I was more joking about that, but I... I can do that tomorrow, I think. <clears throat> Hello, Saint Streamer. How's it going? We'll do a legend spam tomorrow. <clears throat> How you doing, Saint Streamer? How you feeling today? Oh no, my rock has been silenced. Whatever will I do against this Nacra Chester? Ah oh, well. <laughs> on the first next month since I have college on the 30th. It's gonna be on the first next month. Got it. So it'll be on Thursday. Do you have a time, per se? So I can make sure to uh, set an alarm for that, for like 15 minutes before that, to ensure that I am awake for this. I still need to decide that. Got it, got it. Let me know when you decide. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Yes. I forget to give time to color coat Colt as well. Well, I'll, I will advertise that time. I'll make sure that that gets around on my Discord at least, at the very least. So the best play for James right now is to trade into this bookshelf, because otherwise I get a clean trade in this cracked table. I'm aware of Color Cult. You have his nightmare. I'm aware of Color Cult. This isn't a new thing. They've been around for a while. Okay, so this 
is looking like a Librarian deck from James. Power and Parachutism are a bit odd, per se, but they it still looks like a thing. Ugh. That's a 5-6. Uh, 10 do 1 now. Um, the way it works on stream is that you have to pay the uh, Temi Flakes in order to face me on stream. Off stream is fine, whatever. Was this correct table? Well, that's correct table, but it's generally be recruitment. So, take that correct table with a grain of salt. Hey, I actually hit the best target in my hand. Or one of the two best targets in my hand, because this was also a good target. One was from Math Attic and the other just me myself. Yeah, I've noticed there's a lot of uh, a lot of alts like that. Hold on, <clears throat> because let's let's go to Challenge real quick and review that tournament. This one, the one that currently has 27 players in it, starting September 26th. This will be next week, but this is currently the br branches. You'll notice it's single elimination, by the way. There are 10 matches off the bat. 11 matches off the bat. So yeah, that tournament will be crazy. But for now, don't worry about that. Oh, come on, man. I don't even want to do this play. It's not a good play. Oh, someone followed. Who did it? Who followed? PM PM five 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 for thank you for following. I appreciate that. Well, I mean, why not, Sand Streamer? It's not like this is for keeps or anything. It's not like it's gonna be a grand old oh we're gonna have the best matches of our life and everyone should turn up for this kind of tournament. Well, it's leaves me with 8 gold, so it's perfectly fine to play. I can barely do 2 at once. What is the tournament you're talking about? Uh, that will be the alt account mayhem that starts the next Saturday. So, you are allowed to bring as many accounts as you want. It will start 1 hour earlier than my average tournament start. And every single account is acceptable. If you only have one account, you can still join. Um, there's nothing preventing you from doing so, but the, the advisor is uh, currently 27 people and alts included, so you'll notice there's an entire list of my alts in this tournament. Uh, also, I will periodically be doing this, which is shuffling seeds, so this bracket you see isn't actually correct. So anytime you look at this and try to figure out what who you'll be facing, you, you won't know until the tournament's actually about to start. Five minutes before the tournament starts, I will be shuffling seeds. I think it'd be too chaotic and doesn't feel worth it. That's fair. Well, it's meant to be very chaotic. Can we add three Luxes to our Legend Spam deck? My poor G4 3. I'm gonna have to get take back a G4 3 now. Okay. Um No. Uh your best neighbor. The whole point of the legend spam is that there's currently twenty five legendaries. So this is the only time we're gonna have like a clean setup for that. Why did I click that one? All twenty five legendaries. That's the point. Any soul, any artifacts you want, but all twenty five legendaries. Some people would say Bravery is probably the best soul to use for that. And they may be right. But I, I think your hand might still be too clogged for Bravery in order to get that recruitment value. I'm personally thinking I want to go with Reinforcement. But that is for next time. We need a Legend tier list. A Legend tier list? You want me to make a tier list of all the Legendaries? I can do that. I'll do that after this match then.
I was thinking maybe patience and justice. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Well, there's gonna be a lot of different ways to set it up. That's what, that's one of the reasons why I want to do it. Is because yes, there's gonna be 25 legendaries in everybody's deck, so everyone will have the exact same deck. But there is actually like a logical reason to be doing it. So my opponent wants to mill me. Then let me be milled. Sounds fun, so why not? Yeah, that's the point. It's just to have fun. So this isn't Kindness Dogs. I have faced Kindness Dogs before, and when they play their Snow Pop, it's like, really sad for them. Because the Snow Pop does nothing for them. Hello, League. How's it going? That's bad order. Either my opponent has no dogs in hand, or they don't know how that works. Seems perfectly acceptable. Oh, come on. You just had to hit GFR1, didn't you? Okay. Well, now I've got four GFR1s in my deck. I play Memory Head now, so this is a perfectly acceptable play to get Memory Head back. Almost got a Dog Residue back, but <clears throat> didn't in this case. We have to play this early because we need to avoid those things. Yeah, it definitely wasn't for grindy reasons. Well, that's the point. They're fun. That's why you want to play the Legend Spam. It's because, yes, there'll be a lot of skill involved, but you're just going to have a deck full of 25 Legendaries. So it's also going to be just, just fun. I figured there was a small chance that my opponent literally didn't have a dog in their hand because they only had one card left. So I went for it, but unfortunately I got uh, screwed over by that. Shouldn't have tried it. No, it's Legend Only tomorrow, learning. Tomorrow will be the, le the Legend Only tournament. Today is a normal tournament, tomorrow will be Legend Spam. I want to clear this board slot, but uh, I think it's fine. Wolf. This is why I wanted to clear that board slot. Let's just do this and take the trade. That's fine. Intake might be good for Legend Spam. Well, Intake is money, yeah. They nerfed Intake, which is why I'm not considering Intake that strongly for a, a uh, Legend Spam deck. Three, nine, ten, eleven. I don't have the gold to play at all, but it's a good play, regardless. I'm gonna have one extra G4. Well, I have 
one more G-Ball or one in deck anyways, so whatever. Or oh, we just play Rock. I now have opponents out of dogs. What are you playing for it, 7-Up? Uh, for the Legends Band tournament? It's gonna be, uh... I'm gonna be... I don't know what's Soul yet, but I'm definitely gonna be... Uh, probably Kindness, let's be honest. Kindness is pretty darn strong still. And then I'm going to have, uh... No, I've not been playing Battle Cats upstream. Uh, but I plan to use Recruitment as my uh, other one. It's not necessarily a good plan, but that is my plan. See, I want the synergy of this, but I can't. It's a shame. Oh yeah, it used to be. That's why some people did that. Hold on, so we're doing a Legend tier list, supposedly? Let me make sure I have this deck saved somewhere. So, Legendary. Okay, what cards are we missing a card skin for? Well, Hooded Rase and Biker Lancer, because they don't have them. And everything else I have a card skin for, which makes this the penultimate flex. <laughs> they all have card skins except for uh, Biker Lancer and Hooded Rase, because they don't have card skins. Ah, uh, yes, Dan Streamer. Hey, you're actually pretty close to the extremely dedicated viewer role. Are you- I don't know if you or Marijan are closer now, because I forgot that you had so many Timmy Flakes. Uh, so it's a Discord role, Sans, but, uh, basically it gives you the right to shoot- you've, you've never used this sort of ability before, but uh, dedicated viewer gives you the right to vote on what streams we do during the weekdays. Very dedicated gives you the right to uh, make suggestions, and extremely dedicated lets you have both of those previous abilities, plus you get the ability to uh, choose one stream single-handedly, just one stream per month you go, I want you to do this stream, and that's what I'll do. Uh, but, hold on. I've never heard of that. Yeah, that's relatively new. You don't, you don't really watch my, uh, weekday streams, which is why you haven't heard of it. But, uh, yeah, that's what Marijan has been going for for a while now. There's quite a few people going for it. So, let's see. Tier list of legendaries. So, number one, Jevil. Number two, Papyrus. I think those are pretty obvious choices. I'm gonna just go ahead and keep them on my I'm just gonna remove them from my list every single time I choose one. So Jevil, then Papyrus. So same streamer, what if you go to the Temi Flakes, it's the very bottom option. You'll notice the extremely dedicated viewer roll right there. It's a redeemed roll using Temi Flakes. Uh, then, number, uh, let's see. Oh! I have to ask one more thing real quick, guys. <clears throat> when I'm rating these, am I rating these just in terms of how good they are themselves, or how good they are in a Legend Spin deck? When I'm making this tier list. It's Bluefire who asked me to do this. Do, 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 do. 
delicious. So, uh, I think Bluefire's not responding. Okay, that's fine. I'll just assume that you want to do, like, just in general of their own tier listing. Bluefire isn't even here. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, exactly. Your best night. No, I like the denying healing, nah. But the, uh. The way. Perseverance. I just want the soul itself. Why won't you give me a soul? Wait, do they not do they not keep track of souls? Or is they are they kept under here? Is there nothing on the wiki for that? Oh you need to go to Dex page. Really? Excellent, Sandra. Wiki Dex Cohen underscore previous underscore versions hashtag perseverance. Can't heal those cells above 15 HP, end of turn, deal one damage to the enemy. KR when I was in I had a healing, give KR to any monster that attacks you directly, give KR to any monster that attacks you directly, if you just have a chance. Okay. The enemy can't heal themselves, the enemy can't heal themselves above 10 HP. Give KR to any enemy monster that takes damage. This is the one I remember. And then this one. This is the one I think Perseverance should still be. Is this, is this effect. Because then Washua was viable. Makes sense, Sage Dreamer. This is like, this is what I think KR should be today. As version 43. Because the reason why Perseverance is so weak is because this is such a restrictive effect. So the soul itself doesn't do much, it's just the spells. Honestly, I don't think they gave Perseverance a proper chance when they did this. It's like, we had this from beta 6.8 all up to beta 43. Give KR to any monster that takes damage. This is what it was for forever. And then they took that away from it, because of course, it was like... It was like, uh... <clears throat> kind of makes sense, honestly, to have nerfed it from this point, because it was like, if you attack a monster during your turn, and that monster, then therefore your monster gains KR, because you left it at 1 HP, then it just dies to start of your next turn, and the opponent doesn't even have to deal with it. That's kind of broken. It means you can't really clear your opponent's board, or you'll just clear your own board at the same time. But this, I thought was acceptable, because it's like, you can, do, you can still do Washua Contamination and things like that. And that's that's what I liked. Was that you could actually do these cool combos using spells combined with this effect. But now you can't because the monster effects don't apply. And even like one of the one of the reasons why uh Heat's Flamesman used to be a very broken card was because PV would run it. Before version forty three and version forty two and before. And they it, therefore all your monsters would start with KR. And that would be what happens, is that all your monsters would start with KR, and uh, then you'd have to work around that. Yes, well, uh, yes, Lee, Lee, yes, Lee. But uh, my point is that uh, that's that's always how it's been. Is that it only affects enemy monsters? Ooh, 
which is the point of this as well. I just personally think that's how it should still be. PV is like justice. Yeah, PV and justice are very very similar in some of their effects. PV can just affect four monsters, while justice only affects one. That's the major difference. The nerf justice and no longer deal face. Uh, I think people were complaining about spell justices just basically just sitting there at 1 HP. You couldn't kill them and they bring you down to 1 HP and then eventually they just pull out an ice cap. You die. <laughs> it was a really big part of justice. It's one of the major things that countered kindness was justice. I don't know, they removed that and now justice really doesn't counter kindness at all. But the thing is, you could actually really easily play around that effect as well, because, like, you just don't hit Justice in the face. And that would be what you learn to do, is don't hit Justice in the face, and then it's not a problem. But people just... I guess it's aggro decks who really hated it, was like, I keep playing against these Justice players, and they keep hitting me, and they keep letting me hit them in the face, and then I get them low, and then I die because I got them low. And I didn't play around it at all. And now I want to have this nerf because I didn't play around it at all. It's like, no. It was your fault, not theirs. Anyways. I'm getting salty. Uh, Jevil is tier 1. Easily. And Papyrus is tier 2. Uh, tier 3 nowadays. Is a hard call. I actually think Biker Lancer might be tier 3. Personally. that's This is my own personal listing of legendaries. Uh, so tier 1 is the best. I mean, I mean, I can't think of anyone who would argue that Jevil would be the worst legendary. <laughs> tier 3, I'd say, is actually Biker Lancer nowadays. This is, again, just my opinion. Uh, tier 4... Um, hmm. I think it's it's between Gaster and Killer Cook for me. Casual Dine's good, but it's not that good. Three extra anti fatigue or re seven all your synergies. I I think Gaster is tier five, or or no tier four. I mean. So, Gaster tier 4, Killer Cook tier 5. Gaster's lower tier. Yeah, but I also, I'm also i also biased because I play Gaster all the time, and I know how strong he can be. Yeah, but I'm biased, Bluefire. Uh, let's see. Is Hood and Rails even good? Like, I have the card, but I don't see any value to it. Like, you get some value to, like, Fortune and Hyper Gutter and those things. It's like, nah. Yes, your best nightmare. Because Papyrus isn't quite as versatile as Jevil. Because the existence of Diamond Chaos is what brings Jevil from being just on par with Papyrus to being slightly above Papyrus. Yes, you can't do the 5 burst, but you have 3 burst with uh, Spade Chaos. You have board clear potential with Spade Chaos or Devil's Knife, or even you can YOLO with Club Chaos. You can have the card draw advantage, or you can even get the health advantage. Like, there's, he, you can, he's so versatile, that's why. So that would be, uh, we're up to, so next would be tier 6? The next best legendary after those ones. Now we're starting to get into less perfect legendaries. Um, <laughs> also, keep in mind this is my opinion and for my level. If you are level 1 or level 10, if 
you want to go with legendaries, and Azure Dreamer is tier three. But uh, at my level, it's no longer even that good because it's just simply not enough. In most cases. But if you're in copper, gold, iron, gold, even emeralds, Azure Dreamer is king because the opponents there don't have enough damage to kill you twice. <laughs> But, at my level, it's not very, uh, not a very good card. <clears throat> do, 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 Uh, tier 6, tier 6, tier 6. Honestly, I'm wild to believe that Lancer is pretty up there. I, I uh, not tier 6. Sans is just below Lancer. Hold on, let's look at the Royal Inventions again real quick. Uh, cool, don't care. So, yeah, Alphas isn't that great anymore. Yeah, Hoodie Wrestling needs a buff. Make it 50%. Make it return 50% of the spell's cost. Or make it round up, one or the other. Oh, it is rounded up. Oh, then it returns one for Hooded Happy. Alright, that's a bit more useful than you gave it credit for, but I still think it's not enough. I still think it's not quite enough, because it's just like, in what situation do you actually need that effect? Um, <clears throat> I think Rules card is tier 6. I don't use it myself, but it's a, it's a really powerful card. It's a really powerful combo card. So I'm putting Rules card at tier 6. And then Lancer I'm putting at tier 7 and Sans at tier 8. Personally. Sans is actually a really powerful card nowadays. What would it be like? Well, Sans the fun, the difference between level 2000 something and level and somewhere above 500 is actually not that big. Well, Bluefire, you can disagree with me, but keep in mind this is my opinion. <laughs> so, that is 6, 7, and 8. Um, tier 9. The best legendary of this list. Personally, I'm more of a fan of uh, Casual and Dine, honestly. I think Casual and Dine is tier 9, and Gerson is tier 10. So now we're in the middle, tier 11. Best card out of this grouping. Uh, I think Azure Dreamer is actually tier 11, personally. Seems no longer that useful nowadays. It can be useful if you go with a combo deck, but it needs to be like a deck you build your entire deck, or a card you need to build your entire deck around. I did! I did say it was third place last time. Your best nightmare. Times have changed. Decks have changed. The meta has changed. That is just how that goes. As the meta changes, my tier listing changes, so... Um... Tier 12... I think it's coming down between Asgore and Undyne. I think Undyne is tier 12, and uh, Asgore is tier 13. So now tier fourteen. I'm also purposely not making a single tie. We're coming down to some pretty bad legendaries. Legendaries that people don't put in their decks nowadays. Uh Neo's pretty good, actually, for this listing. Um As is Cool Virus, but they're both underutilized. Spade King as well. But they just don't see any play. I think pretty much none of these legendaries see play on this list. Except for maybe Susie, actually. Susie does see play. But I am not liable to believe it to see seen play. Toriel does see some play as well. But this is the listing of legendaries nobody uses. As tiers go up, do the elite cards get better? No, they get worse, Phantom. I think Toriel, tier 14. 
And then tier 15 is probably Susie. It's either Susie or Neo. Neo or Susie are the next. Seem? No, Seem's not OP anymore. You have to build an entire deck around it, and with the existence of mines and the existence of uh, aggro, both being very prevalent in the meta, especially in ranked, which is what I'm more referring to right now, is because uh, those cards just aren't useful anymore. Or it seems just isn't useful anymore. Because you can't get down to three cards in deck anymore. Mew Mew is only good in decks with heroin wing count. Yeah, exactly. Mine's heavy count. Exactly! You have to draw out your entire deck, and then you're gonna either die, or you won't be able to do it, because your deck is full of mines. Uh, let's see. Next. What is this, tier 15? I, I think... I think... I think it's Susie. I think Susie's tier 15, and Neo's tier 16. Then we have tier 17. Now we've gotten into some really bad options. Uh, although I think Cobalt Virus is tier 17. It's a card that should see play, but doesn't. It's a card that has a useful effect, but just doesn't. Tumtis, how in the world are you getting your opponent low enough to use Steam whilst your opponent isn't dead in aggro? <laughs> what aggro deck keeps their opponent alive long enough to play Steam? <laughs> Yeah, that's the point. Something else would have to be, become super strong in order to take their places. They're just locked in at their position. So, tier 18 now. I think tier 18... Out of this listing, I thought of these three actually. Yeah, exactly. If you can play Steam as aggro, you're doing aggro wrong. Hello, Merchant. How's it going? Um, tier eighteen, I think. Personally, I think Muffet is tier 18. I know that's a bit of a bit scandalous for me to even say, but uh, it just it's three anti fatigue for both sides. Ruins your opponent's card draw whilst giving you decent card draw whilst the card is alive, and it's also good at PV spiders, which do still occasionally turn up. Yeah, but also the card itself is pretty strong. Especially in that deck. I, I think I think I'll give it tier 18. That's my own personal opinion. Uh, Spade King would be tier 19 because Seam is arguably tier 20. Yeah, Seam is tier 20 and Alpha is tier 21 without question. From there, from these bottom five, fifth worst. Legendary, Alphys. Fourth, fourth worst though. It's gonna be hard to choose between Hooded Rousey and Rousey, by the way. Uh, your best nightmare. The problem is that none of the spells are good anymore. This was never good. This is this was never good. This is this has usages, but it's like still pretty bad nowadays. This was never good. This has a usage, but it's, it's it's never good. This no longer is good, and this has one usage, and other than that, it's never good. So they just they literally deleted every single thing that was good about this. <laughs> the Alphas just got Alphas is now pointless because all of its spells just are pretty much pointless. It was a cool card at one point, and then they nerfed it out of existence, and now it doesn't exist. I can't. I'm not doing any same tiers, by the way. I think my Mimio, just because it has 
it has combinations, I'm going to give it tier 22. So that means we're at 23, 24, 25, and Bitter Sunny X is 23. So between 24 and 25, which one? Hooded Rousey or Rousey, guys? Real GT is just for snails. Yeah, exactly. And snails have trouble getting down to that 1 HP anyways, because, like, you can see it coming a mile away. It's pretty easy to play around. Maybe, but I think even then, most of the legendaries, what you want to do with them is get their effect off. You don't want to just get them out. It's like, they have uses, yes, but their uses are so case-specific and so unusable, they might as well not have uses. I would say they don't deserve a tier at all. Well, we have to give them tier 24, tier 25. The question is, which is which? Just not on the tier list. Nah, I have to do this. Tier 24, tier 25. I'm going to be a bit controversial here and say that Railsy is objectively better than Hoodie Railsy right now. That, that, is my, that is my call, is that Railsy is objectively slightly better than Hoodie Railsy. Because you can pull out certain things that, uh, really deal with your opponent. You can, for example, kill off your own Hooded Railse in order to put a DT out or something. I don't know. Can you put DTs out? Or is that also banned? Nope, but you can't put DTs out. Okay. Ah, uh, even worse. Ugh. Oh, no. Well, stats. Okay, well, 5 costs 4-4 four, four versus an 8 costs 3-3. Three, three. But then also, this does actually summon something, so I do have to consider that, so that more stats than the 8 costs 3-3. Three, three. Ugh. They're just so bad. Why does Railsy get the short end of the stick? Like, Railsy used to be a pretty good card, because there was earlier versions of Railsy where it would give ranged. To anything, it was support give ranged, which was nice. Why not give it support give dodge one? Give it the same mechanic, just functionally the same mechanic. Support give dodge one. Well, that's my point. Learning. I think. I think it should. I think it should be basically the same thing. It's ranged. So go in phase. Well, yeah, that's the point. Is that you can do things like that and set things up like that. Well, here's the thing. Then you'd be able to set up combos. For example, I'm fairly confident cards don't lose dodge if they're immune. What, what self-respecting aggro deck will put in an 8 cost 3-3? Three, three? <laughs> and Justice still kind of counters that, because, I mean, just... Now, today today is neither of those things, Griffin. Next week on Saturday will be the alts. Tomorrow will be Legend Spam. Tomorrow's Legends Bam. Today is just a standard tournament. So no worries on that. No cost too great. I'm still in 8 cost. It's going to be really difficult for them to get it out. And also then to also combo with it. Because they'll just lose to aggro decks that don't put the thing in. Because then those aggro decks will punch it out. And then the aggro deck that's trying to be a slow aggro deck just loses. I personally think it won't be that it wouldn't be that overpowered, just because it's too slow. Do 
do do do do do do do do Twenty seven people, technically. Including alts. That but that's not how that works, Phantom. If you try to put seam into your aggro deck, and then you draw seam, you're screwed. Anybody who tries to put seam in their aggro deck is gonna lose to aggro decks that don't carry seam, because the aggro decks that don't carry seam won't have their card draw ruined. How many of those 27 are unique? Wait, uh... Oh, unique. Uh, I don't know. I don't care to find out. Somebody else can check if they want to. G4 three. Fine. Mm, kind of doomed this. I switch all the time though. I just like my kind of stick a lot. Hello, Bad to the Bone, you see? They aren't viable. Yeah, well, people try to run them in integrity for some reason. Like, idiots. There's no reason to put that in integrity. When you can only get six, you can only get a maximum of seven caps of gaster in integrity. That's weak sauce. Don't even bother. There's a bonnet. Unironically runs head to rest it. I should have double traded into this, or double traded into this, that was my bad. I should have the worst possible target to trade into, my bad. Okay, six gasters. That's the last thought I even said, I said seven. So, gaster, then three breaks, so that's four gasters, and then three breaks from G, fl G golden flowers, so that's seven gasters. So you should have seven gasters. And that's just like, that's way too, way too few. Like, why would you even bother with on, only seven gassers? Yeah, only seven. If you can't make a deck of 25 gasters, what are you even doing with your life? Hello, Bob Gaming. How's it going? Good to see you again. I mean, there are no matches where you need 25. True, but you might as well. 
I mean, what's the point of playing the matchup if you're not gonna have 25 casters? Why even bother playing this card game if you can't have 25 casters in it? <laughs> but like, why would I do that? Mouse became unplugged. Hold on. Hate when this happens. Oh, it didn't plug itself back in. Please. Mouse, work with me. Cool. Um, now we do. I'm just gonna put this back in my deck. Just take another copy of that. Seems pretty good. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get rid of this flower at some point, but that's fine. Please mill flower, that would be ideal for me. Oh, I milled the break. Darn. Is it worth it is it more worth it to put several spines on one card, Tombstone goes, cost increase, or spread it out across the enemy hand? Uh good question. It really depends on how high cost the enemy hand is. Basically what you want to do is make it so your opponent has as few plays on the next turn as possible. So if you see they have zero gold, as you see it right now, so if you saw my hand right this second. You go, alright, they can't play this card or this card next turn, so there's no point increasing either of these two cards' cost. What you want to increase is one of these three cards, especially Bookshelf in this case, since it gives me another card that is reducing cost. This would make it the hardest to play around. This would be the ideal cost changer right now. But let's say uh, this was 10 cost. If I had a 10 cost card in my hand, and you know it's going to get 10G next turn, then you want to make that 11 cost because then I can't play the card next turn. And it was probably going to be my ideal play before. So now I have to play around that. That's what we have to consider. Okay, I've already activated three gel G4 threes. I don't need any more. I'll just add another copy of a card to my deck. A tombstone. Seems pretty good. So that's your ideal plays with that uh, Phantom, is to Make it as hard for your opponent to play a card during the next turn as possible. As few plays as possible for your opponent. Of course, you only have one copy of Spine to do that with, but you can still attempt it. Uh, plausibly. Phantom Box Threat, plausibly. Although, if your opponent has a lot of cost reductions, there's a different argument there, which is you should make their one card they're trying to reduce in cost as high cost as possible. But if they're trying to spread out their cost reductions, then it goes back to the original plan of let them have as few plays as possible. Haven't hit Gaster yet, that's a shame. I could go face for six, but I don't need to. Ah, my opponent's gonna pop off this turn. My opponent chose not to really pop off, though. Let's go ahead and make that a uh, soothing target. Exactly, Marijan. That's why this deck actually doesn't... It has a chance to not lose to mines. Depends on my RNG. I won't say it always doesn't lose to mines, because of course it can always lose. 
Hello, Pika players on G Fuel. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Bloop. Do 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 do. I think we don't do anything. I mean, I want to get synergy on this, but I'm not going to, so, oh well. Oh, RNG is absolutely hilarious. Excellent, congratulations. Let's reduce this in attack by three. Then do this. Kill this off, because why not? Then do this. Uh, our tombstones are no longer uh, valid cards to be duplicating. That's a shame, but oh well, these things happen. Just hit Gaster, thank you. Jeez. <laughs> he keeps top decking Flowey. Oh no, whatever will we do? I mean, we're just gonna basically go to turn 50 at this point. <laughs> ah, now he's in a real integrity mood. Not flowy? Question mark? <laughs> Wait, what? So my opponent chose not to duplicate flowy here. I was going to go for turn 50, but then he didn't duplicate flowy. So now I have no reason to actually let him get to that point. Okay, here's another flower. Okay. Well, if there's one thing we don't have to worry about, it's fatigue. Okay, I'll let him go face for 12, if we can. Yep. Figured he would do that. Just have more gases in my deck, no problem. Ow. It keeps punching me in the face. Eh, whatever. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 I only got one out of two. This is also healing, so whatever. Hello, Frisk. Well, now I gotta start thinking about things. Why don't we just do this, and then we go ahead and play Father Alvin now? We find Chaos Duck every single time. Oh, okay. Thought if I said it aloud, it would happen. Journey is not a... not... I'm pretty sure my opponent still has Azu Dreamer and one other card. I could play Flowey, or I could play Gaster here, but I don't think it's necessary. Punch my bone in the face for uh, this much damage. Cool. They better actually be able to clear my board now. Nope, can't clear my board. Cool. You've now a lot of gasters. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't finished duplicating them. It's my bad. I'll fix that real quick. Don't worry. Let's do this first. We're gonna easily get a. Oh. You're right, how do I have so little? Let's fix that. Hold on, let's go ahead and buff our uh, gastrous effects real quick. I only have three guesses in hand. It's such a shame. I'm really slacking here. Alright, well now my opponent no longer has the tools in order to ever kill me, so... Unless I, like, leave Flowey alive for several turns. How's your RNG so good at times when mine is, like, knife go burr? Uh, I'm a streamer. It helps. I'll be honest, I was really hoping for a way to duplicate my guesses there. Okay, so yeah. Do 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 So you want to go up face, huh? Hmm. 
Yeah, I only had six guesses this game. I'm sorry. I failed. Should I save the other library, Luke? That's my bad. Get out of here. Should have soothing not fly. Oh, true. I mean, it's not a big deal. Whatever. It's just a flowy after all. I'm really trying to get myself to the point where I can just uh, kill off my own cards again. And then uh, summon Gaster again. Because I want to get those extra Gaster uh, cards. Okay, hold on. Just do this right now. Two Gunner Clams. Oh, yeah. Also, I want to see how long we can make this game last at this point. We're at up to turn 40-something. Okay, can you just play Flowey? Tap deck Flowey like a reasonable person. What's my fatigue up to? Six. I'm up to six total fatigue. It is turn 43. I've taken six fatigue ticks so far. I'm gonna survive till fatigue. Uh, I'm like gonna survive till the game gets automatically terminated. I think. That's gonna be close actually. Yeah, but I don't need to reduce this attack at this point. At this point, we kind of needed to have high attack so I can trade into it. So I'm up to losing nine, so the next one's lose ten. <laughs> okay, well, we're just gonna punch our opponent in the face. Turn 46. Win a game with zero cards left in your deck. Wait, that was a thing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I got some decent uh, friendship value, so that's that. Then this is a boost. Control C. Control V will start in two minutes. There you go. No more confusion. Noise. Alright, so go for Ultra Greed, this game. I think I'm gonna go for Max Greediness. So you're running a Librarian deck, got it. Most likely at least. Cogwheel's normally in Librarian decks. Mm-hmm. We're still at 34 health. You've had God Wheel down for quite a few turns. I just basically haven't taken damage, though. Do... 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 Do 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 before I get max value out of it. 
But hey, if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm not going to force you to. Okay. You could trade your whole board in, <laughs> or not, not anymore. You were able to, and then you got rid of your own dodge. You got rid of your own 2-5 to get rid of some dodge 1 on it. <laughs> I guess it makes sense if you wanted to play Jukebox into that, but uh, still should have done the Metabot first. Because that would have been three cards in your dust pool. No, that would have been one, two, three, that would have been four cards in your dust pool, so there would have been a chance of not getting Aspos. Alright, well, your pog, peel, pog wheel is done. It's been a pleasure having your pog wheel, but we're done here. Do, 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 do. What tournament is this? Wait. Why? Groups into double elimination is a two round. You just clicked on all the settings, didn't you? <laughs> that is never how you should set up a tournament. Take notes from that guy. Or take notes against that guy because the, those are not notes you should be paying attention to. I want max value, but I can't max value, huh? Now we'll just kill your uh, cake. We'll give you a 5-5, five five, but you don't have a cake anymore. You have fallen right into my trap. When did you advertise this? Because I've I've been here for two hours and you never advertised it. And then just now you started advertising this. You gotta have more warning, man. And also pay more attention to the chat so you don't interrupt somebody else's tournament. I, because I, that's what I do. I try to make sure I don't interrupt anybody's tournaments. But uh. I was about to ask why most of the cards in my hand were increasing cost, and then I noticed we had MTT TV. MTT TV. Oh, ticket. Oh, this is starting to get confusing, the fact that we have two tournaments. Alright, so I'm going to have 19G next turn. So my Father Alvin is now going to be 8G. Whatever. What you were? Is of little matter. <laughs> and you're out of time. Yep.
Oh well, you're no longer in control of my card draw. What are you doing, Nate? Why are you making custom rules? Uh, and then not giving them like it gives them at least thirty minutes. To oh, okay, whatever. I'm no part of it. Give people more time to react, though. Come on, man. Tournament creation 101. Oh, they're bringing Ice Cap, honestly. Ice Cap was a much better play than that. I've literally never heard of this player before, by the way. Let's open up Shalonji real quick on a different tab. Let's get uh, tournaments. I want undercards with 1D. So right now we have five tournaments. Wait, why does my Alt Mayhem tournament not pop up? That's odd. It should pop up. Do, 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 do. Also, Chet is dead. Crab Rave. Do, 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 do. There's actually one more. Uncontrollable variable. What is this? Also made by Nate the Squire. No legendary artifact. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. This is this is why this is why my tournaments tend to be more popular than other people's. Is because other people put weird rules in place, like, and then also don't advertise them very well. People are like, why does Seven O get so many people who do the things? Because I do them properly. I do them in such a way that other people actually can turn up for them and be confident they can actually play, not to have hyper restrictions and then also don't have much time to even find out it exists. Because I didn't see any mention of this. <laughs> I like you'll read this, just other people are reacting like why would why even bother? Why even bother doing the thing? Like why even bother doing all this? I was like, why? You just give people tons of restrictions, and then they don't want to play in your tournaments. And then you complain, why does 7 get all the tournament players? Because I don't do this sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why my rules are you can't have more than one DT in your deck. It's fair. It doesn't restrict anybody, except for those who want to put more than one DT in their deck. But it's already ranked rules, so you already have decks for it. There's no other restrictions that, like, no hidden rule that you don't know about. You know well in advance, this is what's going to happen. I do it even, like, two hours beforehand is usually when I advertise it, so you know very much in advance. At least if you're on into cards. And if you're not on into cards, then you probably won't anticipate anyway, so whatever. That's why I only advertise on undercards as well, and only in the tournament chat. It's because I don't want to fill up this chat with non-tournament dis tournament discussions when they're supposed to go here. And I don't want people who aren't on Indie Cards, who might not even be able to participate, to sign up. 
just because they're like, ooh, tournament, and don't read the times and things. If you are on undercards at the time, and you see this is when it will happen, that's the highest chance that we won't have random people who don't, who won't show up in the tournament, and people who won't be in tournament chat, because in order to even join, you have to be in tournament chat. Again, why I don't advertise it in discussions, because if you aren't in tournament chat, you shouldn't be in the tournament. Why did you play Skip Bomb here? I feel like it was a bad play. Well, rip that cake. Very much so. Ten cards left in my deck. Two of them are rocks. Stop ignoring the request. Oh, there's a sound request? My apologies, Sam Streamer. This is the first sound request of the stream, so I wasn't looking for it. Oh no, Tombstone is on my board. Whatever will I do? Eh, whatever. Alright, play something. I'm punching the face for six because you haven't played anything in a while. Play something properly. Play something. Play cards. Excellent. No, not really, Nate. I honestly very much disagree with that statement. I don't think it's difficult in the slightest. As long as you do it correctly. I, I don't want to put my tournaments in any uh, discords, personally. I let other people post in my Undercurse tournaments chat if they want to, because, I mean, it's still Undercurse tournaments chat, so you can actually uh, still host tournaments there. Nice, you added five more cards to your deck, well done.
Well, first you take your incomplete deck code and you paste it into here. And then you turn it into a complete deck code. And that is how. Welcome back here for this nightmare. Excellent. Can we start later if necessary? Ugh. Yes, my tournament is at 2. If you want to be part of Nate the Squires, then you should not be a part of mine because I, I promise you they will overlap. Nate is already a little bit iffy with the time and also can... It's probably going to take a while because he said it's a double setup as well as double elimination for the second half. Oh no, my poor pebble! Whatever will I do? Six cards left in deck. Who's Nate? Nate is a uh, uh, just another person hosting a tournament. I've never heard of them before. Literally, never heard of them before. But uh, they're around. They exist. And they have things. Imagine you are terrible with time. <laughs> I mean, you're actually milling, you're actually fatiguing yourself here, Phantom, so it's not my fault. Going to face is just no longer possible. There's no such thing as going to face. Actually, if I were on my phone and I'd be doing mobile UC, I'd just turn on guided access. That way, I could I could physically not click on the opponent's health bar. <laughs> just actually make it completely impossible for me to go face. Hmm. 
I don't know. Nate, Nate's being odd. I, th I think this is Nate's first attempt at making a tournament before. Because they actually made two by accident, and they didn't, like... They've had a couple problems with the thing. I think they don't know what they're doing. The first ever try. Yeah, so I, don't worry about what Nate's doing. If you want to be part of a tournament, just ignore them. They'll figure it out eventually. Or maybe they'll ask me for tips and tricks at some point, and maybe that will happen. I don't know. I'll stop my AOR. It'd be cool if we could have group chats in UC. Yeah, uh, Fieldmaster actually suggested that as well. The balancers basically said no. They said if you want to have group chats, use Discord. And I'm like, why? Why would I do this? The whole point of group chats would be to do it in undercards, but they're like, nah. And oh well, that's just how it is. You need a password to join? Maybe. Maybe a password to join. Or just one you could set up in which you can just invite people to the multi chat thing. Give him twice prime if he goes face. Alright, so there's one, two library looks in deck and the non drained gas here, so I can play this just fine. I just had two more gasters in my deck real quick. So now I ended the game with three gasters and two library looks in deck. Which both library looks could have added four more gasters. One library looks could have added four more and the other one could have added six more. <laughs> so yeah, if I go for max value we can get uh, even more. Oh, we're actually second place in G4 or 1? When did that happen? follower let's go and I'm like super close to first place on this what in the world G follower three not nah, focus liquor that's my bad and we're actually pretty darn close to being number one in G4 three as well what in the world why are we so close Uh, I think Griffin was memeing. Don't worry about it, Bob. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do, do. We're 25 minutes. Um, that means we can do like one more match, I guess. What's a deck that can survive indefinitely? That can also... Basically, I need to face my own deck in order to set up what I'm trying to set up. But no one else can use my deck for some reason. Every time I try to give this deck to somebody else, they just, just can't use it properly. Or they just die trying to use it. So hold on. Bravery. I want the seven nose link. Uh, control V will start in 24 minutes. Bloop. Oh, yeah. There you go. Put on hub and I shall duel you. Absolutely, we'll put it on hub. Publish. Um, Gaster, but not default. I would go with Dark Darker. Oh, uh, well, this is just pure, raw, unadulterated control. Apparently, we're putting this as advanced. And uh, there you go, G Forest. Bop. Excellent. We're 22 minutes. Is that long enough? It's just barely long enough. That we are learning. That we are. Roger. Do do. Well, I can't beat you up if I don't get closer. <laughs> it's actually a decent card to keep in this matchup. Excellent! My what? More Shinnu. Noni. It's the closest I've ever made to Legend. Noise. We both started off with an ideal play, honestly. Okay, now we actually do trade here. And the reason being is that in order for you to trade again, it kills off your own lesser dog. Yes. Already, already. So the goal here is to make as many gasters as possible. <laughs> did you did you get a gaster off the bat and back into your deck? Well done, well done. Um, it's not a great hand. 
Fine. Oh, I'll take it. Okay. Yep. Got my luck, too. <laughs> Works for me. We both did well here. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, you aren't going to go for max G4 with revalue. Interesting. There's no way. It's a two. It's a forty percent chance. Okay, okay. Wasn't gonna have it happen twice in a row. But we have to get copies of this, so I'll save future memory heads. Um, trade once in turn. Nice. I will join you in that regard real quick. Then turn. Ah, you found a rock. Okay, so both of our team are now fully active. Um, please memory head. That's not good. Um, that's fine. I'll take this. Do, do, do. Well, I can't guarantee you won't face aggro. Especially when you're going for Legend Rank. <laughs> I think this is darn. Um Okay. Hit the seven six? Nah, okay. That's fine. Your bookshelf. Nice. Good pie, good pie. Do, 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 do. Ow. Do, do. Ah, here we are. Hold on. Alright, so we have two G4, two triggers. We're gonna get a third one. We also have a Gunner Kid trigger and two G4, three triggers. Actually, we have three G4, three triggers, don't we? I'm pretty sure we have three, yeah. Oh, uh, this is not gonna get me a memory head, is it? Ugh. Let's just do this and see what we get. Ah, that is kind of what I wanted. Just do this. Uh, Phantom... 
the way you try to duplicate your uh, Metaton Cooks is unique. I like how you do that. Uh, please give me a memory head. Uh, that's not memory head. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting not many memory heads because I played all my GFOs already. Ah, yes, Tombstone. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you from the other side of the field. Which do you prefer, coffee or tea? Tea, by a long shot. I drink neither, but tea I prefer. If I was required to drink one, it would be tea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Never mind that, I will be having tea. <laughs> as soon as you mention that question, uh, Papyrus, my sister walks in and asks me if I want tea. <laughs> that was very convenient timing, Era. <laughs> Excellent. Imagine if Cold Chaos triggered shock and everything. Oh my. Would you rather never have- sorry, I never answered the question. Would you never have tea again, or never be able to play any game for yourself? Every game you play is constantly be better this around the world. So here's the thing, Papyrus. As that you don't know this, but my games already do that. Every single Steam game I play has automatic streamer mode on. Every single game I play, pretty much all games I play have streamer mode on. Except maybe Minecraft? But, like, I could just turn that on and be fine, and I wouldn't have any problem with that. So, like, that wouldn't change any, anything for me, because it already is like that for me. So, neither... So, like, it wouldn't matter which one I pick at that point. If I lost T, then whatever. I lost T. Oh, well. So, like, <laughs> that's just how that is. If you guys are, have added me on Steam, then you can just watch me whenever you want to. Can we, like, get this player banned? Actually, print screen. Or at least get them temp muted, please. Hold on, general support. Do 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 well, if that's your opponent, then I'm gonna need that opponent to, uh, you can't have a name like that in undercards. So that must be the challenge name, in which case, like, they need to change that. <laughs> then their opponent needs to change their name, because that, that's not acceptable.
Here's the problem, we need to actually hit gas at least once. Because otherwise I can't use library looks. Please hit Gaster. Ugh, that's not Gaster. <laughs> My hand, though. Uh, I need to get a copy of Gaster from somewhere, though. Oh, uh oh. I don't know what my deck consists of at this point. I'm just gonna punch this and enter. Let's see what happens. Saw a request from six minutes ago. I apologize. out there. Yeah. Oh no, my duck became a duck. Whatever do I do? What is this hand? Let's find out if this is generated. It's not. That's fair, Healand. Oh my. You went for that kind of library looks, okay. Just all luck and you lose the end. Yeah. Fair. Fair and balanced gameplay. I didn't even duplicate Gaster a single time, so we have one Gaster this game. We're at a pretty balanced amount of gold, though, so there is that. <laughs>
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Indeed, Phantom. I mean, like, neither of us are gonna die, but like... Rank 19 in Tutorial Guy? Well, Tutorial Guy is not that bad of a card. That's the thing. Yep. Excellent. I'm sure, I guess not that bad of a card because uh, b being able to discover a card is always good. Do 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 it's because I got Library Luke's. So when I, uh, yeah, I got Librarian Luke's. So I just sat there with Librarian Luke's activated and then just only one gaster, but my one gaster was enough to do things. Seed here.
<laughs> I know, Griffin. I just I pulled out four more library looks and librarian looks, and then just suddenly I had a larger deck than you, just because that was the only card I was duplicating, not the caster. It was just librarian looks. Round one. Add to the bone versus Phantom Fox Trot. Bad to the bone creates. Merjin 2018 versus A1 Good 3 Glitch. Merjin 2018 creates. Oblongata versus Barber 305. Oblongata creates. Mimigma. LP versus script 2018 Mimigma LP creates you have 10 minutes to start let me know if your opponent doesn't show up within five minutes oh rip Griffin Ping me once you... I mean, you had two hours, Griffin, to be fair. <laughs> I know today I know today was confusing. This is what happens when two people run tournaments at about the same time. That's why I try to avoid it. So I wait forever. Fell for some of this bait. <laughs> I forced you to play custom match. We played a custom match against each other, and then you didn't click on join. <laughs> if that was actually my plan, Griffin, that would have been an amazing plan. But no, that was not my plan. Yeah, exactly. Here, Miss Nightmare. How did you fail to get in? You had literally two hours. Literally two hours still fails to get into the tournament time. Alright, so because I'm gonna be spectating. We've dropped a total of 139 frames today. Not bad. Yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna just spectate matches where I'm not friends with the person. That's what I'm gonna do. Just so I don't have to turn on hand cover. Because hand cover doesn't need to be on for this. Do you... 17 people in tournament chat. It's one, like, one fourth as many people as in discussions chat, approximately. I did the right choice to not join. Today would have been confusing anyways, just because there's two tournaments going on at the same time. For the future, I mean, I always do this. Every single time I make a tournament, I make sure well in advance that there's no one else making a tournament. But for other people, do the same, please. Make sure that I'm not hosting a tournament during that time. Make sure other people are not making a tournament at that time. So that way we don't have these sorts of things happen. This isn't a tournament match, by the way. Farm 10 plays while watching YouTube and grinding battle cats, that's fair. Do 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 do
Yeah, Nietzsche's a poor time to start the tournament, unfortunately. These things happen. Bad to the bone. Am I friends with Bad to the bone? I am. Alright, we'll turn on hand cover. Yeah. Ah, I would say you're not wrong there. Do, 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 do. I apologize this for your loss, though, Griffin. Of being able to join the tournament. I did not mean for that to happen to you. Moments like these that you wish you had Azrael to just go face for nine. Oh, well, you're in a safer position now. Still not a safe position, though. Well, you're demonstrating it right now, Phantom. This is how. What you're doing right here. That is how. Thank you for the polite demonstration. Alrighty. Well, bad to the bone one. Reception is three. Not the best card in the world at all times. Uh, let's look for Marijin's match. There we go. We have a match to watch. Yes. Undercard's community? Technically, no. I don't think so. I, I'm probably the closest thing at this point. I, th I think there is actually a community attached to my character. Uh, attached to this. 
Like, if you go to my page, I think that is the thing. So there's only one ten genuines on here, but that's wrong. Oh right, that's because this doesn't this doesn't keep track of my alts that have won. That's why that's wrong. Two hundred nine wa losses on just any wins. I actually have a not a not a one to one. I actually lose more than I win. Not by that much though. Nineteen, I finished third. I mean, top ten would be easy, because most of my tournaments have don't have more than ten people. So this is the undercards tournaments community, and this is the seven zero community. Undercards tournaments. This is an online community, one hundred seventeen followers. But this this is the one for the undercards qualifiers, which are completely done, but they never actually announce the next set. Uh, this is my online community, which just used to exist back in, uh, this is April 20th, April 20th, 2019. I used to have a thing for this. I never bothered to, uh, continue upgrading it, though. I could, I mean, I actually don't remember even making that thing, so I'm surprised it existed at any point. Oh, and A1 is dead. Okay. <clears throat> How community of the game teaching to be good can be so toxic. Yeah. Logical. Oh gosh. Oof, rip that multi shot. Multi shot's a great card in mine's deck. But just strafe in turn. Or three caps of spade is also pretty good. Add three mines instead of one. Make G blasts go face again. No. <laughs> oh no. Because then people would just run as many possible ways to generate guessers or guess buses as possible in their mines deck and just go face with all of them and then just continually just let mines pull that off. That would be the meta, it would be mines slash science. Where it's not actually science, it's just mines that generate tons and tons of guess blessers.
do 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 All right, so last match currently going on. Oh yeah. Is the last active match. Do 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 All right, well, that's your prerogative. Well, meet my win, so next matches. Seven O versus uh, Bad to the Bone. Seven O creates uh, at uh, Script Twenty Eighteen versus Phantom Foxtrot. Script Twenty Eighteen creates a one good three glitch versus. Oblongata. A1 good 3 glitch creates. Barber 305 versus Mimigma. LP Barber 305 creates. Their name is literally what it is. That is how most people's names are. I expect your pun to actually be named what they are on each launch, because most of the time people just use the same name everywhere, at least why wouldn't you? It's less confusing. Uh, 
equipment facing, bad to the bone, bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Hey up. Deal two, draw one. And then I still get the trade here. Cool. Um, my only valid play is this. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to add another one of these things to the back of my deck, and I think this is a better play. Okay, well, I guess we're adding this back to my deck. I've played all three of my jukeboxes now. Is it just kill everything until seam? I guess? Maybe? I think it's Tombstone, really. I think, that's, I think their deck is... Bad to the bone, bad to the bone. They do have AOD, but I'm not too worried about AOD. So we're just gonna not play around it at all. Well, Mersion. Yeah, I guess. Scris just wins. Ugh. Maybe I should just lose this. Actually, Scris doesn't beat Bad to the Bone at all. Because Bad to the Bone just kills off their own things. So Scris never activates. So no, Scris isn't a counter to Bad to the Bone. It's a counter to me. But it's not a counter to Bad to the Bone. Lesser dogs, okay. Alright, play cards. I only go face if you don't play cards. If you force me to do things. I'm going to go face if you don't let me play and trade. He's able to trade. And if I can't trade, then I refuse to let you live. Does Bad to the Bone even have monsters? 
What are you talking about, Marison? Have you looked at what they're running? Rip, Luki. These things happen. Alright, well, there's the seam. There should be a Doggo to follow it up, though. Because otherwise, this is, I'm not feeling threatened. No, no Doggo to follow it up. Okay. But we're at 35 health, so you need... It's a 5-3 ice cap, plus 2-7-11 papyruses? That's not... Honest, that's honestly not, like, threatening the slightest. I mean, maybe you have several? I don't know. Ugh. No ice sealant. Ow. You really like this whole going face thing, huh? Oh, I should have gone the other way. Yeah, because then I would have guaranteed this wouldn't die, and then I ah, oh, that's my bad. I'm just gonna play this. Still at 33 health. Your move. Noise immersion. Noise, noise. Well, tomorrow is a guaranteed stream, because tomorrow we're doing another undercard stream. Uh, Monday should be a stream as well. No, actually, Monday won't be a stream. I have to go to work on Monday. Tuesday will be, though. So we do this first. Let me do this. Let me do this into this on this. Into this. Is that my emotion droop in Russian? Is that what I just read there? Alright, so now you're using the other Papyrus to clear this board. And then you can do triple trade into this in order to allow yourself to keep going face. Or you can choose it not to, and you can just... Okay. Either way works for me. So I have to clear the board. Got it. Well, you forced me to play Gaster, so there's at least that. Kills off my Gaster, nice. Nice, nice. Do 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 
Oh, this one counts? Oh, even better. Do 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 do. Alrighty, well, GG batted them. Do 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 Barbara wins, get it. That's the only match I'm wor worried about right now. Alright. Next match is... This is Marijin 2018, 70 creates, semicolon, enigmatic Sands versus script 2018, enigmatic Sands creates, bad to the bone versus oblongata. I want to make sure I spell that correctly. Bad to the bone creates. Do 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 I love this song so much. This is a really good song, honestly. Alrighty. Marijin, you ready? That's not Marijin. Get over here, Marijin. Some random name, TK9. Do... Do, 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 Um, did they? They're, they're just right there. They've lost one round, but they're not out. So they shouldn't have left. There we go. Do 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 Ugh, Apple Pan. <clears throat> this is an odd play.
apple pen, pineapple pen. Mm. Pen, pineapple, apple pen. Alright, so I should pop off next turn. Just prevent you from doing uh, some weird, wacky things. Interesting, I didn't know that was how that interaction worked. Well, you're about to Adrenaline, and I have no spells in your deck, so it's about time that I just go ahead and pop off real quick. Really prevent you from doing your uh, whole popping off thing. Because if you draw now, I want to make it so you're going to die if you draw. To force you not to draw. Because you're about to draw! You're about to draw a ton of cards, so I have to make sure you can't draw, or you will draw, or you will just simply kill yourself. That is the goal. Okay, go ahead and draw, you fool. Do it. Because you have currently 12 mines in deck. Now the question is, am I dead? I'm liable to believe not, honestly. Ha! You actually get a breaking love out of that. Not that it does anything for you. For you, it's just a nothing card. You don't have lethal. That's the one problem you have right now. That's that you can't get lethal. So then now if I can pop off again, because you didn't kill either of my head happy this turn. Oh, less than seven. You only need to draw two. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't. You had very few non-mines in your deck at that point. Because you had drawn pretty much all your non-mines there. <laughs> Yeah, you were you were one on you were one mine off at that point. I think you rightfully might have deserved to lose that game as a result of that. But oh well, maybe I should have saved Trashnado. In fact, I definitely should have saved Trashnado because then I could have guaranteed a win. Oh well, these things happen. Uh, let's look for other matches. Bad to Bone versus Ablingata, and then Enderman of Sins versus Scripted. Scripted to death. That's a pretty close level difference, honestly. Level 109 versus level 47? That's not bad.
Yeah, exactly. Basically, basically, well, it's partially a misplay by me because I definitely should have played a different card and, uh, than what I. Yeah, you should have. You absolutely should have killed the head of Hathi, so I couldn't pop off that turn. But then also, I, I mean, yeah, even more than then I couldn't have gotten face for four, which I mean, two less mines, two more mines you needed to draw on top of the fact that I wouldn't have less cards I could play, which means less mine shuffle decks. So it was all around a better play for you to trade there than go face. Ah, uh, rip, Luki. Well, these things happen. That's still, what, 11 days in the season? You got plenty of time. Not trading with advanced RNG manipulation. <laughs> You know, the word shuffle is used very often in this game, but it means something different than it does in, a. Uh... It means something different in this game than it does in Hearthstone. Because in Hearthstone, every time a card says the word shuffle on it, it always shuffles the deck. No matter what. However, in this game, if a card says shuffle, that doesn't guarantee it actually shuffles anything. Your karma. <laughs> but you need skill in this game. <laughs> Supposedly, somebody said that once at one point. Death by Temmies. The Temmie Master died by the Temmie. Live by the Temmie, die by the Temmie. Do 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 skills a mysterious spell which can lead you to the victory? Never heard of it. Yeah, the only the only card, the only spell I know of that can guarantee victory is a spell by the name of uh Ah, the credit card. That's it. No, that's a Hearthstone meme. That's not a meme in this game. Because the credit card doesn't actually get you anything in this game. What's the music for this background, by the way? Is that, I don't remember seeing this background before. I was not aware there was, this was the music for it. Yeah, that is the music for it. What? Hold on. Or hearing this music before. This is epic music for this. That is Vaporwave Bundle with Frogs. Yeah, but I had the bundle before. I've gotten this bum bundle. Why do why have I not seen this background before? Because I have this.
So then my question is, does Spider do the same thing? Go face for 15, seems good. Like, if we have this kind of music in, that, as a thing that can happen... Excellent, script one. Alrighty. Script one. Next matches. Marijin 2018 versus... Uh, Barber 305. Marijin 2018 creates. 7 versus... Script 2018 7 0 creates Mimigma LP versus Bad to the Bone Mim Mimigma LP creates. Oh, there we go. Well, I think I think it's for the background, not for the profile skin. But I can equip that profile skin just in case. Yeah, we can have this as their profile skin. And we can also equip this one, a spider party. So then I have to ask, I want to change to this one first. Spider Frosted Donut. Great game versus, uh, yeah, I have no music pause right now, but I want to hear this. Versus script 2018. There we go. Seems to be the music for the background. That seems to be what caused it. Because, like, I don't have a choice to do other things. I have a frame, I have the frame skin equipped, I have the profile skin equipped. I could do card skins, but I don't have the cards in my deck, so it shouldn't matter. So yes, I do have a custom background with this. Okay. Hold on. Excellent. Alright, one mind in my opponent's deck. I'll be sure to get it next month. Good choice, good choice. Oh, it's seven health. I'm an idiot. So it's just listen spam. Well, almost just listen spam. There's a couple other cards in there. There's a Ghana kid in your deck? What? Do not question him? Okay. Then he shan't be questioned. Just died by Advent Spears, I'm dying. The moment you kill off Undyne using her own spears. All 
these musics, but no skins. For shame. Also, that's kind of hilarious. Uh, we're popping off next turn. And because of that, we're not going to play any other spells this turn. We're popping off next turn. Yeah, exactly. This is the turn. Is that so, Phantom? I was not here to assume genders, but if you want to assume genders, go for it. Well, this isn't custom music. That's the one. That's the one thing I have to say about it. Is that's not custom music. Vaporways is custom music. This is just the muffin fight music. Also, you'll notice in the background is a little bit cut off. Draw four mines next turn, or I lose. Ah, oh, GG. <laughs> that was a perfect time to actually go face there. The music ended perfectly. That was hilarious. Excellent. All right, Mimigma versus Bad to the Bone. We expect it from a Mimigma's perspective. Cool. Music, please. Thank you. Do, 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 do. After this, Phantom. I actually went in one turn too early. That's what happened there. Excellent, Phantom. Then I will play my Gaster Spam deck against you. That's lethal. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Exactly, though. And then Marijan versus... Versus Barbara. I'm pretty sure Barbara's also my friends list. We're gonna click this button right... Sure. Perfect. Yep, they are on my friends list. Cool. Do 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 do
How do you start the next match? Script 2018 versus Bad to the Bone. Script 2018, please. Oh, yeah. I can start that match because this match has no relation to when this match starts. So it's better to start early. That was a 3 3 chance. If you even get another turn, Marijin. Alrighty, and then script versus script twenty eighteen versus Bad of the Bone. There we are. Perfect. Can we get more Vapor Wave? Yes. More Astro Wave. Start the music. Thank you. I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the music and you keep playing legendaries. Dead gummit script. aren't that great. <laughs> Wait. That's how that works? I've never seen that play before. I was not aware that was how that worked. I didn't know you could damage yourself with Casual and Dine by the opponent using Brain Shift. Worm. Squirm the worm. Well, scripts is uh, literally uh, legend spam, and Bed of the Bones is mill. Oh, I don't need this on right now. Nah, I'll leave it on right now anyways. You guys can't see the hand anyways, so it doesn't matter too much. Sorry. 
So this makes me wonder, does each profile skin have its own custom music? I don't think so. I, I haven't noticed this before. And I I, I play off stream with the uh, with mu custom music on. I figured not, Sin Streamer. But do all the bundle ones have custom music? That's the other question. Yeah, exactly, Marijin. Bundles are even more worth it. You get custom music with your bundles. No. Aww. Well, that means. So I'm assuming, therefore, because there's only been, what, three bundles? Over, well, there might have been four bundles, but uh, one of them was the summer one. I'm assuming the summer one doesn't have music then, which is a shame, if you ask me. Oh, by the way, Script didn't get the bundle. That's one thing you can tell, because they aren't using the, the framing skin. So they got this, they just got the profile skin, and they get the music out of that, so it's a double value thing. Next match. Bop. There we go. Do 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 do. Sands bar. So does the sands bar have one though? Does Holy War have one? The Summer Bundle didn't even have a frame skin. Or a profile skin. Look at all these profile skins, by the way. Look how many have been added to the game, and I don't even have, like, half of them. Because I don't buy the, uh, bundles. Because I don't... Or uh, if I do buy the bundles, then I don't get the thing. That's fair, Sam Streamer. I mean, I think I have bought every bundle as well. I just haven't gotten all the past quests. So don't do them. Someone does have a profile skin. Does it? How did I miss it then? Oh, I just disconnected by accident. Whoopsies. It's a fairly confident I got the summer bundle. Because it came with a... A few things that I have. Also, just bought those separately. So yeah, you have Sand Streamer, you have more profile skins than me. I don't think you have more overall things than me, but you do have more profile skins than me. Freaking wars start now. Well, let's get our music back in going.
You have the four I missed out on? Really? I have specifically the four you missed out on? Both require donations. <laughs> well, no wonder. Of course. <laughs> That's actually hilarious, though. Well, that's just how that goes. It's just, if it required donation, boop, have it. Didn't require donation, probably don't have it. Did require it, did have it. That's pretty hilarious, though. How long do we have this for? Okay, this is just wrong, isn't it? Yeah, that was only 75 years, that's wrong. Why? That's just how it works, in streamer. Nice. Advanced! 25 to infinity. One time payment, 25 euros for a final pack. Play. Oh, I can? Excellent. They've started. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Excellent! I should show you my profile skin list. I'm down. Yes, there is Justice Mew. Uh, we're almost done. This is uh, the finals of the losers bracket, and then I'll go to the finals of the winners bracket. That's an uh oh moment. That's an uh oh moment. That's an uh oh moment. That's a lethal. <laughs> That's a. Uh... That was what turn eight. Ugh. All right. Well, Marishan's good at aggro. Exceptional. And then we have this match, and then if Marijan wins, which kind of looks like they're on the war path right now, so they might win, uh, then they move on up. And then it's a redo with Marijan creating, and then refight. So I, I don't have some of the default ones that appear in Shepherd rotation, but I'll buy those at some point. So, so I'm really desperately waiting for a <clears throat> on the shop list for the profile skins. I originally purchased all of the special profile skins and none of the standard profile skins. So you'll notice that simple cyan. Any of the ones that have the term simple, I don't have because I'm waiting for them to show up in shop rotation nowadays. Because originally I got everything except for those. Because I assumed that these were the ones that stuck around and that these ones would change. But it said these were the ones that stuck around and these ones were the ones that changed. And I got salty. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, yes. Excellent. Also, my avatar list is way too long. I need... 
I need something to help me with this at this point. It's so long that I actually need, like, a way to type in a number and it will go to that one. Or I need pages for avatars or something like that. Because currently my avatar list is so long I can't even keep track of how many I have. Nine, ten, that's sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's a hundred twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's a hundred eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's two hundred forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's three hundred. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, that's nine, ten, that's three hundred sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's four hundred twenty, four twenty six, four fifty two, four fifty eight, four sixty four, four seventy, four seventy, I have four hundred and seventy two avatars. I need something to help me out with this. 472 hours is a bit much. That's, and you have a decent amount of profile skins, noise. That's a, uh, it's a few avatars, just a couple, just a handful. Just enough, just enough to fit in, to count on one hand. <laughs> oh, boy. Barber is still counterpicking? Well, good for him. Like, if I go and add up the number of the three-digit number, 9 plus 4, so 13. So even if I took... I did what you could do, and just add them all together of those three digits like some people do, you would have 13 still. So you have to do it a second time in order to get down to four. I need the Tori, Kara, Alphas, and Nenden ones so that own them all, but you have them all. Well, I, I think I'm missing a ton, actually. I think I'm missing a ton of things. Just because I don't do the past quests properly. Well, that's out of me being lazy, not out of any other reason. Isn't there a tombstone skin? Not that I'm aware of. Card skins. Tombstone. Nope, no tombstone skin. QRS. Tombstone. Doesn't matter the author. Yeah, there's no there's no tombstone skin. See if there's a skin for the thing it will pop up. And even if like there's a special event skin for it, then it will still pop up, uh, like, because I just have it. So no, there's no Tombstone skin. There's skins for nearly every single card in the game. We're missing a good handful, but, uh, we're getting there. Why does Big Hat Charles have a skin? Loxer, Blue Laser, Blue Snail, Bob, Bomb. Match started? Good. Excellent. Make sure hand cover is still on. It is. Cool. Excellent. And the fan of Vice I'll face you after the tournament's over. Don't you worry. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Why is there no worm skin yet? I don't know. Why is there no worm skin yet? I'll have a discussion with one of the I'll have a discussion with one of the artists. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you It would be one of the most purchased card skins instantaneously though. Once they add that to the game. Because Worm is such a card is a card that people love. It's such a good meme card. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I saw a Saint Streamer. Oh, Saint Streamer, did you see that I'm number one in Receptionist 3? Currently? I want to maintain that. That's a card I want to keep. There's quite a few. Actually, there's a few cards that I'm almost number one in as well. Like, both G4 1 and G4 3, I'm close to number one in. Oh, no. Oh, no, Marisin! Oh no, you're gonna lose! <laughs> uh, probably rightfully so, <laughs> let's be honest. You won't lose? Uh, you sure? Currently you're dead on board. Like, you're dead on board even after these trades. That you can make. Okay, now you'll leave one damage on board, but it's a fly, so he can actually continue to abuse that. No! <laughs> no, Sand Streamer, no! <laughs> I will not allow this! Six HP, so if Barbara is carrying Ice Cap and Starwalker Bird, they win? Like. 9G to play it as well? Oh, you didn't have it. In three. Well, I mean, you've pushed it to this point at which it's a top deck. <laughs> that's not even a top deck. I don't. I don't think that's a top deck. I'm pretty sure that was just in Barbara's hand, and they were just waiting to play it. <laughs> Excellent. And the tournament standings. I can turn off hand cover now. Excellent. screen like this. Hiya. Save as. Tournament.png. Yes, I would like to replace it. Close this. Go to here. Go to undercards tournaments plus uh, tournament.png. Uh, final results. Colon. And then barber. Barbara, what's your name on Discord? Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you? Excellent. Now, Fan of Fox, right, you want to face me with my kindness deck, so let's go. Hiya. Excellent. You 
Yes, I want the NFT. Survive forever. Name match afterwards. Uh, if you pay the 400 Tommy Flakes, yes, Demon Destroyer. There is an option. Go to the Tommy Flakes in the bottom left corner of your thing, and you will see there is a an option to pay Tommy Flakes for a custom match. Yeah, heal spam is not a counter to aggro at all. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, I didn't mean to go face. I'm sorry. Alright, well this is guaranteed to hit one of these things. That was... Terrible RNG there, though. Did you will do, Demon Destroyer? This is very annoying, by the way. I need to get that out of my hands. I mean, I have to play this at some point, so we might as well play it early. Oh no, my poor memory head was silenced. Whatever will I do? Oh, I forgot that Red Flower got changed. It actually doesn't seem like that bad of a card for me to go ahead and get as a in my dust pool. Still not great though. Go to Ghost Chess. Okay. I want to cut the match, but I won't. Yeah. I know how it is. Do 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 do
Exit League. Well, then perhaps, Mary you should spend some more points so you can get back to that number. <laughs> Should have to wait until 69420. <laughs> Fair and logical. not a better way of doing that. The other way around of doing that. Because this would have been a 6-1 and this would have been a 4-7. But then I wouldn't be able to kill this off with my next play. I do have a G4 too. Of course I do. That's fine though. The aggro victory, not so much for the turning victory. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. I see you biding your time. So that's an apology for going face earlier by accident. I'll just heal you up real quick. Oh, you were gonna heal yourself anyways. <laughs> Thirteen crits left in the deck, two other Melissa dogs. You, but I won't let you have the board either. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Is that how many packs you have, Sandstreamer? Oh, hey! You're back up to my deck count. <laughs> and now you're ahead of me, finally. For a turbo deck, you're having a pretty hard time keeping your deck presence. Or, uh, not keeping your deck presence. Getting your, uh, anti physique going. Exceptional. Nothing too shocking, I have memory head in hand. But you already knew that. 
Apparently this rock did. You mind double training to rock? Thanks. Let's get ready to rock. Oh no, it increased in cost. Whatever will I do? Oh, whatever. When it's mine versus mine, trust tornado draws your hand first. Yes. Yes, I know. Don't worry. Not that that has happened very often. Hold on, give me a memory hit. Actually, this is better here than rock. Let's get ready to rock. Wolf. I've already got two of these activated. Control F. Yeah, so I want this one to activate. Uh, because it doesn't clog my board for nearly as much. It's way better because it's not going to clog my board. That's one of the problems with Rock right now, is that it's really clogging up my board, because my opponent, Phantom Foxtrap, can't clear my board right now. That's what they're struggling to do. So if I play cards that are take up board space forever, then I'll just have them around forever. So right now, it is better to not do so. Yeah, exactly. You're up to 14 cards in deck, which is good. You're doing well. Keeping your deck going. Oh yeah, you have noodles. Forgot about that. Is this music getting annoying, guys? I can change the music if you want to, or somebody else can change the music if they want to. Did I have another memory head? Ah, uh, whatever. You need to draw cards. So here's what we're gonna do. Yes, all of these are generated, but we're still gonna play this because we want to generate that right now. Go away, AVG. There we go. Okay, can the thing please keep scrolling down? Yeah, do you have a river person by, by chance? Like another river person? That'd be nice. We can both draw cards and then actually get closer. Board clear wasn't all that necessary there. I could have just traded, but uh, I kind of need Phantom Extra and myself to both lose our boards. No second room person? Ah, oh, well, these things happen. We're probably gonna make it to turn 50, I think. Only one room person? That's fair. Oh no, my memory head was silenced. Whatever will I do? No less a dog rip. This flower jar screwed me over way early. This is not shiny. Do 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 do
Heck yeah. I'm good now going to lurk mode. Nice, nice. Hey, I finally drew this. Excellent. First person takes the damage as it works for me. You've got a turbo card and a tutorial scar in half. Nice. I mean, you've got 20 cards in. Car has been created by Toriel's car. Nice. Thank you. Although it's not really properly seen, let's be honest. Just a few cards in deck, just a handful. Shuffle three more cards in my deck real quick. We'll use this one. <laughs> this game. 
game. <laughs> this game. Neither of us can fatigue. It's just not. It's just not possible to fatigue anymore. Like we both reached the point where we can neither neither of us can fatigue anymore. Well, like I could theoretically fatigue if I make some major misplays at this point. I'd like to draw one more card now. I might fatigue. Nah. Always happen. <laughs> True, you're completely immune to fatigue for the remainder of the game. His cars. Excellent. All right. In the next turn, it's going to be completely impossible for either of us to fatigue. But no more fatigue for the end of the game. One thousand acceleration. <laughs> that might be that would be hilarious. Just continuously use this acceleration over and over again. No fatiguing for the main of the game. Keep shuffling more cards in my deck real quick. Well, currently I have three guesses in my deck and nine memory heads in my deck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nine memory heads, I've got three memory heads in hand, so I've got a total of twelve memory heads and three gasters. You want to have both playing at the same time, that's fair. Can you get the 15? That's true. Yeah, I actually have to top deck a gas here.
This is uh, one heck of the music. Play this while both spider dances are on. Okay, well then I'll, I'll just replay this one. Luca, you will get double value. Some was better dance. I had to play this when when I didn't get value out of it. I'm sad. Oh gosh. Oh no. No. Please. The spiders are dancing. No. No, please. Uh, okay. Rip game. Game has been terminated. The thing is, I would eventually... My combo wasn't infinite there. So I would eventually fatigue there. That's quite enough of these. Uh, that's all well and good, but that's quite enough of these. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to call a stream here. We're going to go raid Bob. So thank you all very much for watching. Oh, no, hold on. I have a custom match against Demon Destroyer. My bad. My apologies, Demon. I almost forgot. But I'm closing queue for the day. Uh, so this is the last thing on the queue. And then we'll raid Bob. So that is the plan. Oh, he did. Congratulations. Uh, is this my opponent? Are you Demon Destroyer? Did you pass 50 followers above gaming? Eh, I'll allow it, Hewland. I have no issues with spam in my chat. I've never had issues with spam in my chat. If it gets excessive, I'll crack down on it, but, uh... Uh, Demon Story, what's your name in game? That's the question. Are you Herman the Worm is he? So, Bob Gaming, you better start streaming soon. This is the question, Demon Destroyer. Is this you? Good. Excellent. Let's get started, then. Good luck and have fun. I want to start that round in time, but I couldn't.
Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> this is six bags of ones, this is just, This is actual insanity. It's louder on my end than it is on your end. It's louder than me on my end. You think you you fool. You think you can be louder than Spider Dance? Fools. Thou hast fools. I was going to stop, and then I was requested for more, so we have more. I think that's enough. I think I think that's good enough. I can barely hear myself. <laughs> First one's almost done. No cost too great. This is a weird deck. Okay. Um, well, I lost, so whatever. We'll just do this into this and still be dead because I can't kill living bread. Discord, Luki, if you can. I'm live by one. Papyrus? Jevil? Jevil. Nice. Cool. So, with that being said, and with that amazingness for the ending, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And let's go raid Bob! I will see you all tomorrow. Yeah, Bob, go live. If you haven't gone live already, Bob, please. Please go live. So I can raid you. I'm going to double check that Bob is live before I click this Raid Now button. Because so we have a button to click Raid Now. And i got to make sure Bob is actually live. No? Bob, please? Bob, you have like 15 seconds to get live. <laughs> We're all ready to raise you. Please, Bob. Bob, please. Yes, Bob gave me the streaming undercards. Yes! Hiya.